James. Hey, how are you, my friend? Good. Uh oh, I'm going to have to turn this whole thing around. You know, some people got some good stuff out of uh, lockdown. And I must say, you wasted no time. You and Charlie Hunter started jamming the minute you couldn't leave your house. How did that come about? Uh, well, thank God for Instagram, I guess, in that case, because it was just, we were just doing 30 second things just to give ourselves something to do. I mean, Charlie's always. He's very, very, very good and faithful at posting and at getting things happening in different grooves. And he started to send some stuff my way. And, you know, it reminded me how much fun we've had together in past incarnations. And uh, then it seemed to make a natural sense for us to at least try to do a larger project. Um, and he had access to our friends from Butcher Brown over in Virginia. And uh, so he went up to their place and they masked up and they laid a bunch of grooves down and then they sent them over to me and it was on me to figure out the other bits, <laughs> you know, the melody and whatever. So, so a true collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy just to be able to make music, the stuff that I believe in and put it out with people I love to work with and, and be able to continue to come up to Canada every once in a while and, and sing for you kids. Yeah, you know what? The joy on your face is palpable on some of these videos, man. You guys are killing it. Do you have a favorite uh, moment so far off stage? Because you haven't been touring for a few years. So when you're traveling around, did you have one of those moments where it's like, this is it. I'm so glad to be on the road. Well, most of that happens right after a really good gig happens. You know, you come backstage and you're just there with your pals in the band and, and everybody knows that it happened. And, uh, you know, you know, you fed the audience and you know that they're happy about it. And maybe there's a really good bottle of wine back there to help you finish off the evening. <laughs> and what about moments on stage? Have you had a, a, a favorite, like maybe a venue you've never played before that you got to? Wow, we've been playing a lot of venues, I'll tell you that. I mean, we got to play uh, Umbria again, where you were uh, again this summer. That was a thrill, um, you know, to be back on the road again. To We're going back to London again in the fall, and we're going to play the Jazz, not the Jazz Kitchen, the Jazz Cafe. Yeah. Um, and we'll be, you know, I'll be back with uh, uh, Guy Barker, uh, with the big orchestra at, uh, I want to say the Barbican. Uh, so there's all kinds of That's stuff right. that has yeah, been the happening Barbican. and, 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 and of will course be he happening. was with you in New York, right? I mean, Guy Barker did your musical, your incredible That's musical right. at Jazz at Lincoln Center. That's right. He's a, he's a really dear friend and, and of course a very, very accomplished and trusted music, uh, uh, arranger. Yeah. So we always have a good time together and uh, I'm looking forward to that again coming up. You mentioned Perugia and I tell you, when you were in Italy, probably one of the most surreal moments I will never forget was listening to your Christmas record in Italy in the summer on a patio right? looking out over a lake. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. You were very kind. You gave me some very good feedback on that. Well, here's the thing, man, that somebody said you transformed the Christmas tradition. That's like the best Christmas album that's been made in the last 20 years. That oh, record goodness. is so outstanding. Are you going to be doing any Christmas shows this season coming up? There will be a handful of them, and we might be trying to put a larger symphonic kind of version of some of those arrangements together. Right um, but I, th but I think only, I think we're only doing the Christmas show. Oh, well, I'll do a, I'll do a week in New York, uh, at Birdland with the, with the holiday show. And then we'll do one, uh, you know, one more night in Chicago to close it out for the year. Oh, cool. Well, I hope to get to Chicago. I want to see your Christmas album live again. Um, yeah, right on. You, you have been to Toronto so many times. I just made a note here, Old Mill, Diesel Playhouse, Convocation Hall, Kerner Hall more than once, Jazz FM. Um, Humber College workshops, uh, my secret salons. You have been to Toronto so many times. Um, I want to do a little shout out because this is going on the uh, on our website. Uh, the Flato Markham Theater have been so patient because they booked you before COVID, and now they're getting yeah. super blue. That's right. They they booked a completely different show, uh, yeah. and now we get to now we get to bring the fresh material up there. So yeah, definitely. Thanks for being patient, everybody. Well, I tell you, this is, we're in for a real treat. I know you've changed, uh, uh, really inspired Jocelyn Barth, Lori Cullen, 
John Finley and Mary Margaret O'Hara. Those are all people that you've gone up to and said something kind after a song and their minds were blown. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, now, there's wanna, a lot of great singers up there, so they deserve I, that kind of praise. I want to give you a compliment uh, before we go, but, but it's hard to give you a compliment because the New York Times said, Kurt Elling is the standout male vocalist of our time. So whatever I can say now is not going to be as good <laughs> as that. But I'm going to give you this. If the 21st century had a game called Jazzopoly, Kurt Elling would no doubt be Boardwalk. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you, James. <laughs> well, I am really looking forward to seeing you. You'll be here with uh, Corey, DJ Harrison, and Charlie Hunter. That's, that's the right. whole band, right? Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Oh, can't wait to see you. I have any messages for Jazz FM listeners? Jazz FM, my most faithful friends up there. I appreciate you. I can't wait to make music for you again soon. All right. Thanks, Kurt Elling. See you soon, brother. Thank you, James. Thank you.